All right, so last but not least, we have the couch. I'm just going to isolate that. And once again, I have to look at the, the shape of it and see where the seams are. Certain things, like I literally could get rid of the faces on the bottom if I don't need them. And if this were a video game, I would, just to say poly counts at times. Um, you know, and then it's one less thing I have to do inside of my UVs. So actually, you know what, why don't we just do that? Select you. Actually, I'll just do it here so it's a little bit easier to see. Um, you know, there's the easy way. Double click. Double click. Double click. Okay. And uh, the interesting thing, I can also, here's another way of doing a quick selection is when you're on the inside, control shift, and I'm just going to do a little drag select on those guys. And I'm, oops, I'm on the inside so that I don't accidentally go through and grab things I don't want. And that was control shift to add to a selection. I'm just going to get rid of these uh, UVs because they're, they're, they're not really doing anything. Um, do you have to do that? No. Um, are they necessary? I mean, if I see them in a reflection, yes, they're, you know, like underneath here or depending on what I'm doing, it could be, but for the most part, not, not so much. So, um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to UV map this guy and I'm just going to make some cuts once again, to where I think those uh, fabric seams would be. And I also have to take into consideration that I'm not really going to see uh, a lot of this because the pillows are going to be covering up a good portion. So it's the arms and the front, you know, and the sides that I'm more worried about, but I still want to just get everything done. But I do want to keep that in mind. So I have to decide where those cuts are going to be. So the first thing, I might actually go and say, oh, you know what, maybe, yeah, so that might be one. So let's go to that tool first, and we can see it already has a lot of weird cuts. So just to get rid of that, I'm just going to do a planar map, select it in object mode and do a planar map. And that jacks it up, but it's okay because we're just going to make our cuts where we want them. And now I'm going to go in with this tool. Cut that. Cut that. So the sides are separated. Now the problem is where this is. I'm gonna, Actually, I'm going to back out of that because I don't like that. That's interesting. Got some weird stuff going on there. So that separated the front. And then I could go in here and say, all right, let's say we want to do a cut. the bottom yeah sometimes it's a little bit of trial and error of where you want things to be and when I do make a cut, you can kind of see where they are. Nothing's written in stone, so I can always go in and just decide to change where some of those cuts are. And I'll show you how to actually stitch them back. So like right here, I could stitch that part back uh, just by control, double clicking, and then I make it a whole piece again. And then I could just click there, double click to cut that, OK. 
check that. So there's a few ways that you can do that, see? And it's literally just a matter of um, where and how you want these cuts to be. So that's that's really the kind of hard part is like, where do I want to have those cuts so I can have a nice texture projection on the side, maybe have this open up so it goes straight. Um, you know, something like that. And then do the same over here. And let's see, where is that? It's going up on the top corner. So that would be right here. Uh, we could see, boom. I don't like you. Come back. Like, there we go. Now, what I'm noticing here is that you're also, is uh, whether or not you're seeing, uh, so we see the texture borders in here. They're not showing up that well in here. Um, Now we can see them. So that's the back. That would unwrap like this. Let's see what that looks like. We'll find out. So, yeah, the, uh, the little shortcut with D isn't working. I think that's only in 2018. So the um, I can actually just go in now, though, and I can grab all of these. And let's see what it looks like when I just say optimize, and I'll hit that a few times. Now, what I'll need to do is let me just start to separate these out a little bit. Now remember, some of these might be flipped, so that's going to give me that weird distortion thing going on. And that's this whole side here. So if I, let's just see if I use my optimize tool, and you can see that that actually opens that up. You see it just literally pulling that right to where it's supposed to be. Isn't that nice? So cool. Love that tool. And now we're starting to get something that's a lot more reasonable. Now, if I grab all these and do that layout, let's see what happens. So the color, they're, they're consistent, they're just in weird angles I don't like. So I'm going to kind of, now that I got them the right size, I'm just going to have an intervention and rotate these guys so that they are actually in the positions that they should be. And you'll notice that just with some of these things that... Um, they, they pick some weird rotations, which is okay, but we want to actually just make sure um, that they're going in the right direction. So let's see what we can do about that. We'll take this, move you here, take this, grab the shell, just rotating it so we get some good... Yeah. 
That's a little weird. Why is that happening? Oh, it's overlapping. I got you. Scrap. So that's kind of strange. Where's that edge at? Oh, I know what that is. Some of, let's grab all these. What that basically means is that even though I mirrored this, and some of these points are not fully connected. Yes, there's two vertices. So we need to merge them. So I'm going to grab all those. And uh, I just need to merge those vertices. And apply. And this is how you know if it worked or not, if it still says two. So if I go to my channel box onto the merge, I can just increase this. I don't want to go nuts on it. Yeah, because then it merges too much, as you can see. All right, so let's take a look, see? There we go. So now if I go in, yes, now I can stitch these. That's why it was acting weird. Always the little things. So now, uh, here's a nice little trick, though. We can go in, and we can just use one of our tools to stitch these together. So now I can go to the cut and sew, and just sew those together. And anywhere that there's some, um, boop, select those, sew them together. Select those. Uh, sew them together. Okay. So now if I go in and I use the optimize tool and I'm just going to actually select this in object mode. Now use the uh, optimize unfold tool. Now these should should fix the distortions and that did. Awesome. So now if I just take these Now I'm going to try it one more time. Let's say layout. Ah, oh, that is so much better. Now let's see what that looks like. Yes. Rocking it. That's awesome. So that's now last bit. We just take these guys, dupe it, pull it over here. Now our whole uh, couch is UV mapped. There's a slight difference in the texture size between these, but um, we we can adjust and accommodate for that. That's not that's not a big deal. It's not the end of the world. But now we're ready to put our texture materials, our material on, and those textures we created.